Lars, check it out. The new couch for the print lab has arrived. Good. Well, it better be comfier than the last one. You bet it is. <laughs> and guess what? I designed and printed the upholstery myself. How does it look? Looks to me like you're sitting down on the job. Make yourself useful and grab me another canister of cyan pigment. Bob, what did you do? Why is the print on the couch rubbing off on your lab coat? What? Did you print this with the resin ink? No, no, no. No, I printed this with solvent inks. Solvent ink? Bob, how many times do I have to tell you? Different ink types behave differently depending on the media you use. Solvent inks and resin inks are two incredibly versatile ink types, and both have their strengths. And together they can cover practically any wide format print application. However, it is critical to match the application to the correct ink type. So, uh, which applications are solvent inks good for? First, you need to understand how the inks work. Solvent inks contain volatile chemicals that react with certain media surfaces. This chemical reaction is what causes the ink colorant to penetrate the media and create a strong bond. Hmm. I used solvent inks on the couch's upholstery fabric, but that fabric must not be a media that reacts well to solvent inks. Correct. So which applications are best suited for solvent inks? Plasticized materials like PVC banners and vinyls react very well with solvent inks. Here, check out these two test prints. This is the same exact image file printed on the same vinyl medium, except this one is printed with resin ink and this one with solvent. Can you see a difference? Of course. <laughs> wow. Look at how much more color there is in the solvent print. Good. You're not blind after all. Yes, on these media types, solvent inks typically produce images with a much larger color gamut than any other ink technology. This is mainly because the leading solvent printers incorporate many different colors of inks, like orange and red, beyond your standard CMYK options, expanding the solvent color space. Resin printers, on the other hand, most commonly use just CMYK inks, but who knows what the future will bring. And are there any other advantages when using solvent inks on PVC-based medias? Yes, when used outdoors on PVC banner materials, solvent inks create images with higher light fastness. Simply put, they fade slower than other inks when exposed to sun. I have another question. Not surprising. What do you do if the surface of your media is not receptive to solvent inks? That's the key advantage to resin inks. Resin inks contain a resin bonding agent in them. This bonding agent is heated significantly in the printer until it melts, binding the ink colorant in a film layer on top of the media. So unlike solvent inks, they don't rely on a chemical interaction between ink and media, and as a result, they're well suited in a wide variety of media types. Resin inks will stick to pretty much anything, including materials where solvent inks won't perform well. Like the upholstery on the couch. Exactly, that's a good example. Now here's another. Let's compare the print quality of resin and solvent inks when printed on a cotton-based textile media. Here's what this image looks like when printed with solvent inks, and here's what it looks like when printed with resin inks. Wow. <laughs> the print quality speaks for itself. Absolutely. Look, due to the chemistry of solvent inks, the ink is penetrating too deeply into the media and not staying on the surface where it's most visible. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> On many uncoated paper media, you get very similar results. See for yourself. Ah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the solvent ink penetrates too deeply, while the resin ink adheres to the surface and looks great. So I think I understand it now. Resin inks have a wide range of applications and can often be used on media that are not receptive to the chemistry of solvent inks. Are there any other applications where you'd opt for resin inks over solvent? Yes, let's take a look at wall coverings. Here's a wallpaper media printed with resin inks and the same media printed again with solvent inks. Notice a difference? 
Honestly, not really. <laughs> they look pretty similar. How about now? Smell anything? No, nothing. Good. How about now? Hey, this one definitely has a smell. <laughs> Which one is this? This is a solvent print. What you're smelling is the volatile chemicals in the ink. The resin print, however, is completely odorless. Why? Resin inks contain no such chemicals. In fact, they're mostly water and have no smell at all. That makes them ideal for use in interior decor applications, especially in sensitive environments indoors, like schools and hospitals and restaurants. Makes sense. It sounds like resin inks are pretty versatile. Are there any other things you should consider when printing with resin inks? Yes, glad you asked. Remember when I said that resin inks are heated significantly in the printer to melt the bonding agent they contain? I wasn't joking. Take a look at this. Jeez, Lars, where are you getting all these test prints from? Bob, stay focused. This particular print is a PVC banner printed with resin inks. See how the media doesn't lie flat and it's all deformed? Yeah. Is that from the heat in the printer? Precisely. When printing with resin inks, the print media you're using must be able to withstand the temperature within the printer, or else they can easily deform. So, does this only happen on PVC banners? Absolutely not. This is not application specific, this is media specific. It can happen on some PVC banners and not on others. It can happen on some papers and textiles and not on others. You have to ensure that each print media you use must be able to withstand the heat generated by resin printers before starting the print job. And this is not a concern with solvent inks? Typically, no. Far less heat is used in solvent printers. So media deformation is rarely an issue when printing with solvent inks. So, We've covered a lot so far. Now tell me, what have you learned? Solvent inks penetrate into the media through powerful chemical reactions. And resin inks form a durable ink layer on top of the media. Uh, solvent inks are well suited for PVC-based media due to their large color gamut and superior light fastness. While resin inks, on the other hand, have a wider range of applications and work well with many media types that are not receptive to solvent inks. And resin inks are completely odorless, which makes them the go-to ink type for interior decor applications. <laughs> Looks like you've been paying attention after all. <laughs> now, enough talk. Go reprint this upholstery. Bob, what have you done now?